welcome to this week's episode of Ask Greg. Your questions, our answers. This week's question comes from Cynthia in Sacramento, and she says, Hey, my friend recently bought a home and was surprised at some of the fees. What are some of the typical fees to expect when buying a home? I like to break it down into three sections, uh, loan, inspection, and closing fees. Some of these fees are typical. Some of them are negotiable. Um, the best thing to do is sit down with your lender and your real estate professional and really understand the absolute total cost when purchasing a home and you won't be surprised. I'll give you some of the basic fees for each one of these categories. First is loan. You have a, an origination fee and that's the fee to the lender, the actual cost of the loan. Um, it can vary. Make sure you understand what that is from your um, loan professional. Notary and recording fees, those are fees that are paid to the county and to the person that actually notarizes the loan and signs your documents. The appraisal fee, again, this goes directly to the appraisal or appraiser. It's between three and five hundred dollars, and this is an upfront cost that you have to pay. There's no negotiating on that fee. And then points, we typically haven't seen this lately because interest rates have been so low, but as interest rates climb up, points are the ability to actually buy down the interest rate. Talk to your loan professional about doing that. The second set of fees are inspection fees. Your, your big one's going to be your whole house inspection. That's typically three to five hundred dollars. Depending on what the whole house inspector finds, you might have some additional inspections that you have to do. These could include like pest, roof inspection, pool inspection, and if you're in a rural property, it could be even some additional inspections like septic and well inspections. And then finally, you have what's called your closing costs, and a lot of these definitely can be negotiable, so you want to speak to your real estate professional out there and understand what the typical fees are for your area. So we have title insurance, escrow fees, um, taxes and insurance, and reserves. And this is one that sometimes that can catch people off guard a little bit. Depending on the type of loan that you have, you might they might require you to have some reserves stocked away in the bank or an impound account. Again, talk to your real estate professional and talk to your lending professional to find out exactly what those fees might be. That's this week's episode of Ask Greg. And as always, if you have any questions, we'd love to answer them right here on our show. Just email us at info at smartclickrealty.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.